fans, welcome to a very special edition of Three Big Questions with Big DA. It's so special that tonight is going to be a two-part edition because we have a lot of ground to cover. And my guest here is a man not really familiar with the newer fans. We're going to take care of all that tonight and in part two. He is a man who is the face of the new regime in ISW, our new commissioner, the new man in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my extra special guest, Brandon Bishop. Sir, thank you for taking the time. I know you're a busy man with a lot going on in the back. So I appreciate you taking this time to catch all our fans up on, you know, what, what's the history? Because we have fans around the world now. Fans each and every week around the world watch ICW Live. And some of those fans don't know your history in Oklahoma, in ICW, and with some of the, the people here. So just kind of walk us through your history with ICW and the five years that, you know, you've been away. It's been more like six years. It is 2012, DA. The history between Brandon Bishop and IZW is a rocky one. It's been good, it's been bad, and it's about to get fantastic. Really? I'm here. I'm the IZW commissioner. It doesn't matter which route I took to get there. I'm still here. When I cash my checks, it, <laughs> it says to be IZW commissioner on it. Okay. okay? Really. So it's about to get fantastic because... As I stated, when I first came down, the roster was surrounded the ring. I came down, I stood in the middle of it, I looked everybody in the eye, the roster, the fans, the camera people, the people at home. And I told them a little story about a guy who probably cared too much. That was me. I cared about IZW. When it first started, I probably cared too much. Johnny and I started together. Johnny Z and uh, we... The, the history between IZW and Brandon Bishop, it, that's not even the right way to title it. It should be the history between Brandon Bishop and Johnny Z. That's a good point. We started off... When he came in, I didn't have much faith in him. I didn't have much faith in him. He, he couldn't wrestle. I mean, I could barely wrestle myself. He couldn't wrestle. He was just some guy that came in off the street. Him and his brother Jeff, they come off the streets. They wanted to be a part of something I had going. And they became a, a big part. He proved me wrong. And Johnny Z has been proving me wrong and proving me right for 10 years now. Uh, there's been times when I looked at him, and, and there's been times I spent with him where he was closer than, than, the, than my actual family. And then there's been other times that honestly, if I could see his head roll down the street, I wouldn't stop it. <laughs> I'd just watch it keep going and uh, say, well, there goes John, oh well. The history between us, it's personal. You're not supposed to get personal in pro wrestling. You're not supposed to get to that level where it, it changes you as a person and it makes you, it, every emotion I can feel think of has been sparked by John Zorthos and I'm sure he could say the same damn thing to me too. Uh, hate, love, jealousy, greed, keep going, shame, guilt, everything. And we are, it, and the funny thing is no matter how much we love or hate each other, we've always been intertwined. It doesn't matter how far I move away. I live in Colorado right now. I travel here. That's how important this is to me. I don't come here to make money. I don't come here to be a part of a wrestling show. I can do that anywhere. This right here, you know, I'm the one who designed the original logo. Did you know that? I didn't know that. The original logo? Yeah. Not exactly this one, but I am the one who designed the original logo. There's a lot of stuff in ICW that came from this brain that I never got credit for. You know why it took me six years to get back to IZW? I wanted to take you six years. I'm asking you why it took me six years, because I don't know either. Well, maybe that's something that we can dip into in part two, when next week we bring you the last two questions. So make sure you stick around. Be here next week. Right now, we're going to take you some impact television. Stick around. You're probably going to need part three. 
Saturday, February 11th, IZW gets violent. With Rage Logan, Double D, and the Man in the Dark battle it out for the Impact Division Championship. Gary Tool and Randy Price face the future Hall of Famers for the Tag Team Championship. Jermaine Johnson gets his rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship against Aaron Neal in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Violent Valentine 2012. Live at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest FM Lot. Violent Valentine. Saturday, February 11th. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11th in Lawton. From the outside to the inside at Impact Inc., you'll find artistic expression at the core of everything they do. The finest artist in Texoma can imagine and create custom ink for you, or we can realize in ink anything you imagine. And Impact Inc.'s body modifier can do it all. Do it all. From corsets to dermals to exotic piercings. And every Friday afternoon, it's $50 Friday. Come see what that's all about. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11th in Lawton, 699 753 IZW Violent Valentine 2012 VIP seating now available. Just $12. February 11th. For VIP members, the doors open at 5 p.m. to claim your ringside seat. Plus, your chance to meet Double D and the real deal airing new. Entered into a raffle to win a boys and girls bicycle. Just call Margaret at 357-4911. Monday through Friday, 9 to 6. And experience IZW Violent Valentine VIP style. There's no experience like IZW Live, not just for the high-flying, targeting action every Saturday night. The Impact Arena records live for television tapings and broadcasts live around the world. Plus, free giveaways every week. There's nothing like the live IZW experience. You never know what might happen. So be at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F in London every Saturday night and witness IZW change the wrestling world. Are you a loyal IZW fan? Should you be treated with royalty? Starting January 7th, at the end of every month, there will be a drawing for the IZW Fan of the Month, where you'll be treated to the VIP experience, which includes two tickets to the next IZW event, free food and merchandise, and your own private meet and greet with your favorite superstar. The more you experience IZW Live, the more chances you have to become the IZW Fan of the Month. Fans, what a big three big questions that was with our new commissioner, Brandon Bishop. Stick around next week for part two. Boy, he's got a lot more to say. And you know a man that had a lot to say last week, Double D coming out right now. I'm sure my broadcast partner tonight has a lot to say about Aaron Neal, the man who will face him at Violent Valentine for the heavyweight title, Jermaine Johnson. Everybody knows how I feel about Aaron Neal, Violent Valentine, February 11, and TLC, but I want to know about this man in the dark. I want to know about this mystery. Well, fans, you saw last week, Double D left lane. Let's show you exactly what took place. What a weird moment, Double D. Going for the Impact Division title. Had the match well under control. Going for that defacer. Lights go out. You see the struggle in the ring. And now, Jermaine Johnson, nobody knows what's going on. I've been in a defacer. It surely would have been over. We would have had a new Impact Division champion. Rage took advantage of that. Mark Wilson didn't even want to make this three count. We've seen that on the after the Impact. But the bottom line is Rage Logan's champ. Double D's upset about it. Double D still looking for answers. Exactly who tacked him. Who is this man in the dark? Let's listen to exactly what Double D had to say All right, here last Saturday night. Just jump right on into this to say that. To say that I'm a little frustrated right now is a bit of an understatement. It's understandable. For those of you that may not have been here last week, let me go ahead and let you know what happened here. I had my one-on-one -on -one match for the Impact Division Championship against Rage Logan. Exactly. It was a heck of a matchup. I now, I don't want to take anything away from Rage Logan. Yes, you do. <laughs> I really don't. He, he's honestly, he's one hell of a competitor. He is the ICW Impact Division Champion. Fans not really bottom line fans is, of Rage Logan. Me and Rage Logan, Logan had a match apparently not. worthy of that Impact Division Championship. Back and forth, nail biting. You didn't know what was going to happen. And at the end of that match, I had everything well in hand. 
I had Rage in my arms for the defacer, ready to drop him faster than Captain Kirk would drop a stormtrooper using the Vulcan death pitch. That's right. I don't think Captain Kirk ever used the Vulcan death pitch. <laughs> I don't, I don't, man. Then, I don't watch Star Wars. Wham! Star Trek. Darkness. Whatever. How perfect that it would be darkness representing the dark side. He's really going there, huh? Next thing I know, it all, it all makes I'm laid sense. out. I'm waking up. I'm being told that I lost my Impact Division Championship match for the second week in a row. And I don't know why. All I know is that the lights go out and some mystery man decides to attack me. All I want to know is who that man is. I want to know who's scared enough. I want to know who's so big of a chicken that they have to turn out the lights just to get the upper hand on me and take me down. That's a fair question. Because I do know one thing, there's no way you could take me down if you face me face to face. I'm sure nobody's got to tell you that. No one does, D.A. Now I don't want you guys to worry because I will, I absolutely will become the IZW Impact Division Champion and you can bet on that. Arena, One happy thing to I hear do that. know about this darkness mystery is that one person I believe that is actually behind it, without a doubt, would be our brand new ITW commissioner, Brandon Bishop. You know what? I've had my suspicions. Who the man now, in the we all is? saw yes. Brandon come up to me last week and inform me that I was on the hit list, so to speak, that was passed down to him by our uh, former bobbleheaded commissioner, Jeffrey Wolfenbart. I hate that name. So basically what I want to happen right now is for Brandon Bishop to come out here and face me face to face and let me know what's going on because I know he has something to do with it and I want him to tell me exactly well, it takes big, big, big uh, guts is the word I'll use. Guts is one yeah, word I'll use. big guts to call out the man who has proclaimed this the Brandon Bishop era. It takes big, a uh, big guts to call out the person in charge like Double D just did. Well, Double D's not afraid of anybody. He's all heart. He wants to know what's going on, who's behind it. Hey, if, if that was you, lights go out and you're being attacked, You'd want answers, too. Well, if I was Brandon Bishop, newly in charge of this company, I wouldn't take too kindly to one of my employees calling me out. You know, I don't know if it's justified or not. The lights are going out and D wants an answer. I can understand that. But they don't just throw point fingers at the newly appointed commissioner of this company. Well, we hear about this hit list. We know that Double D's name's on it. Randy Price's name's on it. Seems like maybe your name on an entirely different list with Brandon Bishop. Well, I don't know much about my name and list, but I do know that Double D wants answers, and Brandon's come out to give it to me. Once again, the fans not showing our new commissioner the respect you would think he would he would want in this position. Well, he's standing in there with the 2011 most, most uh, superstar of the year. I right? tried. Absolutely. I tried, Double D, I tried. Last week, I tried. In fact, Jeff Wolfenbarger did make a hit list and you were near the top of it. It's absolutely true. Exactly. Eh. But I tried. Did I not try? I bumped into you and your little dog and I basically... Why? <laughs> Whoa. You need to watch it. Okay, I'm trying to keep oh, okay, it professional. So you need to go ahead and just watch him out. I admit that was uncalled for. Absolutely. I will apologize for that. You see, maybe last week I came out a little strong. Because, you know, it took me six years to figure out how to get between these ropes. Maybe I was a little excited, Double D. Maybe I rubbed, rubbed some people the wrong way, ruffled some feathers. Maybe, maybe I upset some people. You think? Sounds like they think you did. Ah, maybe all that happened, but I tried to come out differently. I wore blue jeans. Granted, they're $80 blue jeans, but I did wear blue jeans. These shirts are six months, these shoes are six months old. Okay, I'm trying to fit in is what I'm saying. 
I'm trying to fit in here. I can't take my teeth out and rub a bald spot and gain 60 pounds horrible thing and to not say shower for a month. That's really too bad, And man. not, you know, clear up my face and clean my ears and brush my teeth. I can't do all that, but I'm trying to fit in, okay? That's too bad because that could be a listen, very good improvement. Listen, listen. ICW Commissioner Brandon Bishop, that's me. So when I'm talking on one of these things, you stop talking on one of those things. Do you understand? Did, thank you. I tried with you. But you proved me, my attempts, you proved every one of them ridiculously wrong. Because honestly, Jeff was right what he said about you. You wanna know what he said about you? He said that you were a disrespectful little punk. Not true at all. That and I agree. You want a rematch for your Impact Division title? You're gonna come out here and cry? I don't remember giving you permission to start my show. I don't, re I don't recall seeing it in, in the little, in the order of things, so to speak. I didn't allow it, and you're out here now, which proves Jeff Wright. You are a disrespectful little punk. And that's coming from a bobble-headed moron, so I wouldn't be surprised that you would follow that direction. Strong words from Double D. E. Add to the list of things I never thought I'd seen IZW. Kevin Morgan make his way down to interrupt Brandon Bishop. You have that on your board scored at home, you could have made a lot of money. <laughs> Kevin Morgan is on a path of destruction, a war path as he's called it. And he had an epiphany after he beat Little Joe. He said he finally realized what he'd been saying all along. He could do whatever he wants because he's six foot seven, 300 pounds. And I guess that means interrupt something that has nothing to do with him an Impact Division, uh, converse, Impact Division title conversation between Double D and Brandon Bishop. Well, Brandon Bishop said the line was long to want to shake his hand and, and make their impression. And seems like Kevin Double Morgan D. joined the line. Nobody cares about you wanting a rematch for the Impact Division title. That's not true. The fans care. Nobody cares that you're afraid of the dark. <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid of the boogeyman in the dark, Double D. You should be afraid of me standing right here. Let me remind you of the path of destruction that I've been on. The war path that I have laid in IZW. Did you not see the video last week? Quite impressive. Of course you did. Let's, let's play that video again. We Wait. are not playing that video <laughs> again. Oh, video play. <laughs> I will sum up your whole video for you. I'm big, I'm strong. I kick people, I hurt people. I'm big, I'm strong. I kick people, I hurt people. I understand. They get it, I get it, everybody gets it. That's pretty clear. <laughs> I kind of like that. Anymore. Structure <laughs> is what I am bringing to Impact Zone Wrestling. Structure. Do you understand that? I actually like you. Stop worrying about your rash of destruction. Start worrying about doing it. The less you talk, the more you do, the more you're gonna impress me and that you work for me. That's become very clear around here lately. I wanna see that path of destruction continue. As a matter of fact, I would like to see it continue. right now fans last Saturday night Brandon Bishop taking it upon himself to make another oh, impromptu you match up next victim kind of what his job All is around I need here is I guess a ref and a bell. 
all I have to say that if this is the outcome of if you call Brandon Bishop out and accuse him of doing something, then I advise the rest of the roster to not do that because you don't want to end up on Kevin Morgan's warpath. You don't even want to be in his crosshairs if that's what, you know, if just by calling Brandon Bishop out. Well, fans, before we get too deep in this matchup from last Saturday night, I just want to take a moment to let our fans know that we're here live or watch on GFL.TV. You saw one hell of a matchup, the last man standing match between Brad Michaels and John O'Malley. And fans that were here saw Brad Michaels leave in that ambulance. I just want to give you a quick update. We understand that he has two fractured ribs and, a, wow, and just a punctured lung. And I understand uh, maybe a ruptured spleen, too. We saw all that, that bleeding that was coming out of his mouth. And, you know, we just kind of want to take a moment to, you know, w wish him well. And, you know, like a guy or not, you, you never want to see a competitor like that really end up in that kind of way. In a business that's about physicality, you still don't ever want to see someone injured, especially gone out in the ambulance after the end of a hard-fought battle with Big John O'Malley. So, bad Brad. Wish you well in your recovery. Certainly was quite a matchup. And this right here, you got to admit, this was also a, a great matchup. Double D is coming out here, wanting some answers, wanting to find out you know, who turned the lights off, what went down, who attacked the, you know, who's the man in the dark, so to speak. And, and fans, after this matchup, Brandon Bishop, who joined me last night on commentary, made a, a very large announcement about Violent Valentine February 11th. And, and former champ Jermaine Johnson, won't, won't you let our fans know what that was? Well, we do know now that we have another title match, Violet Valentine, fe February 11. Rage Logan will defend his championship against Double D, so he got some of what he wanted by calling Brandon out because he gets his title contest and he gets to find out who the man in the dark is because that's the f third participant in that matchup, triple threat between the three. Well, fans, you got to think Brandon Bishop knows who the man in the dark is. We're going to take a quick break. We come back to the continuation of this matchup. There's no experience like IZW Live, not just for the high-flying, hard-hitting action. Every Saturday night, the Impact Arena records live for television tapings and broadcasts live around the world. Plus, free giveaways every week. There's nothing like the live IZW experience. You never know what might happen. So be at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F in London, every Saturday night. And witness IZW change the wrestling world. IZW Violent Valentine 2012 VIP seating now available. Just $12. February 11th. For VIP members, the doors open at 5 p.m. to claim your ringside seat. Plus, your chance to meet Double D and the real deal airing new. Entered into a raffle to win a boys and girls bicycle. Just call Margaret at 357-4911. Monday through Friday, 9 to 6. And experience IZW Violent Valentine VIP style. Are you a loyal IZW fan? Should you be treated with royalty? Starting January 7th, at the end of every month, there will be a drawing for the IZW Fan of the Month, where you'll be treated to the VIP experience, which includes two tickets to the next IZW event, free food and merchandise, and your own private meet and greet with your favorite superstar. The more you experience IZW Live, the more chances you have to become the IZW Fan of the Month. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11th in Lawton. From the outside to the inside at Impact Inc., you'll find artistic expression at the core of everything they do. The finest artists in Texoma can imagine and create custom ink for you, or we can realize in ink anything you imagine. And Impact Inc.'s body modifier can do it all. Do it all. From corsets to dermals to exotic piercings. And every Friday afternoon, it's $50 Friday. Come see what that's all about. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11th in Lawton, 699-753. Saturday, February 11th, IZW gets violent when Rage Logan, Double D, and the Man in the Dark battle it out for the Impact Division Championship. Gary Tool and Randy Price face the future Hall of Famers for the Tag Team Championship. Jermaine Johnson gets his rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship against Aaron Neal in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Violent Valentine 2012, live at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest FA Long. Violent Valentine, Saturday, February 11th. Fans, February 11th, Violent Valentine shaking up to be quite the show with our main event, TLC2. 
between my broadcast colleague Jermaine Johnson and Aaron Neal. But not just that, this new triple threat matchup we talked about before the break. Rage Logan defending his Impact Division title against Double D and, and this, this man in the dark. And, and Jermaine Johnson, you walk around the locker room, you talk to the people. So I, mean, I assume you talk to some people, maybe <laughs> not all the people. But I'm not married like you, I guess. But, you know, what, what if this man in the dark thing? Who, who is this guy? I don't talk to a lot of people right now for obvious reasons, but no one knows who the man in the dark is. We'll find out that, obviously, from Violet Valentine. You alluded that you think Brandon Bishop knows who it is. Well, I, you would think Brandon Bishop has to know who it is because he's put him in a matchup. Ah, uh, man, if you, I remember hearing on Brandon's comments. Whoa, See, this is what I'm talking about right yeah. here. You know, uh, Brandon Bishop was by my side doing commentary with me last Saturday night. The lights go out. I can't tell you, as far as I know, he never left my side. And if he did, he's a ninja because I never heard him leave. Well, well obviously, this worked out to be in Kevin Morgan's favor because he ended up being able to capitalize on a catching double D right there with the nuclear device. And anyone who takes that in IZW is done. But Kevin's looking around. He don't know what happened well, either there. Nobody knows. Both men, you saw them. They were ready. Just wait and see what was going to happen. You have the lights go out. Your body start flying. You don't know what's going to happen. We saw that with Rage Logan and Double D. We saw that here with this matchup. Who knows what we're going to see tomorrow night live in the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest Death here in Lawton, Oklahoma. You've got to be here live because, you know, the lights could go out. We could find out who the mystery man is. You never know. He could. You think if he's any, you know, if he's any type of true competitor and he's getting an opportunity at the Impact Division Championship, he might want to reveal himself, but he might want to leave us all in the dark. <laughs> I see what you did there, and I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> you what? How do you not like that? I thought it was pretty good. Kevin thought it was pretty good. It got him a victory. He continues his war path. Well, fans, what's going to be pretty good tomorrow night, the Impact Division title will be on the line. Randy Price taking on Rage Logan. Randy Price wins the title. Well, that shakes a whole lot of things up heading into Violet Valentine. And then we saw this. You know, I was I wanted to get to this. No idea what's happening once again. The lights go out. Brandon Bishop still by my side as far as I know. But the one thing we know this time, we hear the sound. The lights come back on. And we see Double D in the middle of the ring laid out once again. Well, Erica probably got thrust in the middle, you know, in the dark too. She didn't know what was going on. And... <laughs> It's a crazy situation. The man in the dark obviously only has one target, and that's Double D. So Double D needs to use his force and fight the dark side. Well, fans, be here live tomorrow night, 1009 Southwest F. The experience, there's nothing like it. The giveaways, the great matches, the moments we talk about. Who knows, the lights could go out again, and who knows who's going to be left laying this time. For myself, Big D.A. Jermaine Johnson, we hope to see you live tomorrow night here in the Impact Arena. Hey, always watch out behind you. You never know what's going to happen here.